at the first day of bluegrass and barbecue here at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. Hey, we're John and Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. Would you like to sample some barbecue with us? How does that work? Actually, we get to sample it and you just get to watch us. Oh, that's, that's, that's not as good. <laughs> There is a special tasting passport just for bluegrass and barbecue, so we're here to pick ours up here at Hannah's Ice Cream. But if you have a season pass, or even better, a gold season pass, which we have, or better, you can get a discount. Counts. Or better, or better. Or better, or better. Or better, better, better. <laughs> so we got six fifty off our um, tasting passport. So what a great deal! You see my dad's sign over there? Yep. Okay, so some of the foods. There are so many. Look at this. Can you see? So many to choose from. <laughs> Who knew there was that many different kinds of barbecue? Right? I knew. You knew? Okay, so you got mac and cheese cone. That sounds pretty cool. Let's see, pulled pork skillet, pork belly skillet, grilled brisket grilled cheese, pulled pork burger sandwich, fajita chicken skillet baked potato, pulled pork and pineapple pepper sandwich. Wow, and it just goes on and on. Crazy corn, pulled pork nachos, barbecue tater dog, apple pie kettle corn, barbecue brisket kettle chips, and that's only maybe a third or a fourth of what is on. Something funny happened. I was in a Facebook group and someone asked, in the new festival, the Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival, do, do you think Silver Dollar City is gonna have any special foods? Pretty much everyone commented, um, lots and barbecue. Lots and lots of barbecue. <laughs> barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. <laughs> so I hope you like barbecue. I do like barbecue. Now, I personally am not a huge fan of barbecue. I eat the smokehouse a lot and I really love it. And there's certain times that I crave barbecue, but for the most part, it's not something I crave a lot. But I do love bluegrass and barbecue because it's unique kinds of barbecue. Like you just heard all these different twists on it, right? And don't forget the bluegrass part. And bluegrass music. John loves bluegrass music. I do, <laughs> why are you laughing? Well, just because the way that I said it. See, I'm also not a huge fan of bluegrass music. I appreciate it. I think they, it's so well done. Didn't you grow up it's jamming just, bluegrass in your boombox? I didn't. See, I didn't grow up in the Ozark, so that's not my music genre, you know? I actually didn't grow up that way either. It's only been recently. Yeah, yeah. But I, I appreciate it. I think it's, it's very cool, but it's just not, you know, my style. Okay, well, that's fair. <laughs> but you can still come and enjoy Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival. Of course. Even if you don't like barbecue or bluegrass. That's right. This is the Smokehouse Shack. It's set up just for bluegrass and barbecue. And they have chicken thighs on a stick, smoked brisket sausage on a stick, crazy corn, pulled pork nachos, and smoked brisket nachos. So they're busy cooking it all up. So this is so smart. I think it's gonna be really efficient. They have now at the Smokehouse, Tasting Passport guests go that way, and then the regular guests, the signature menu to the left. That way, you know, you just, it splits you up and it's gonna be so much faster. With the pulled pork bowl on the bottom is tater tots, and then you get baked beans, and then you get coleslaw, and then you get meat, and then you get corn, and then you get jalapeno chips. So I got all that minus the jalapeno chips. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the pulled pork bowl. On the bottom, we have hash browns, and it was covered in baked beans, then coleslaw, then meat, corn, and then these crispy jalapeno. And we split, we already split it. Yeah, we already split it. So it looked a lot prettier before we kind of messed it up. But it's very good, and you get a little bit of everything in there, so. You like it? I do. And this is the best place to eat right here by Mystic River Falls. So they've got this other temporary booth set up for the smokehouse on the other side of the smokehouse by Mystic River Falls. And here you have barbecue nachos, brisket nachos and you've got pulled pork or brisket. And so it's kind of similar to what we had in the smokehouse with the bowls that have the tater tots in the bottom. This is nachos underneath, so. Do you want nachos, do you want tater tots? You have to ask yourself. the cooking class, cooking school used to be. And right now they have home furnishings. So they don't make furniture in here, but we're gonna go see what they're showcasing. This is because of the, the furniture store that burnt down last year. Now we have this open here. Kitchens bring families together. I, I think like it totally depends on who the cook is. <laughs> I hate that's a backhanded. I didn't say nothing about you. Uh -huh. Look, I like how they made a, like a sink out of the mirror. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, Amy, that looks so good. You think that they could make me that? Oh, is it brisket or is it bacon? I mean, it's not. It's brisket. Okay. I um, think they could make me that without the bread. <laughs> it's like the time I went out to eat and I ordered a BLT um, without the bread. And so I literally got <laughs> lettuce and tomato. Going out to eat with you is really strange <laughs> sometimes. You need to campaign for gluten-free festival. Right, a festival just for that. I would come every day. Yeah, you would. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this food is looking so good. We have four punches. Look at that, look at that, four punches. There's one punch, we have four left. We'll be back tomorrow too, so we can split it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's the thighs, right? Should we that's get one of those? With the sweet barbecue sauce oh, that's barbecue. good. Melvin loves him something sweet. Do you want one of those too? Don't I already got you. I don't need nothing else sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so they have crazy corn, a booth with crazy crazy corn, and they have four different kinds. I think this is the Parmesan cheese. And you got you got this next to uh, the smokehouse. We're at the pizza place right now. Yes. I'm getting pizza. All right, I'm gonna go find us a seat. So I got the pizza. You are eating my corn. This is my corn. Oh. My crazy corn. How, how do you like it? It's very good. The, the um, Parmesan is awesome. And it is raining like crazy and thundering and lightning here on opening day of Bluegrass and Barbecue. Check that out. And there's our good buddy uh, Dean's wax hands across the way. All right, Amy, my this, pizza is rearing to get into my tummy. This is the smoky barbecue pork pizza at here at Crossroads. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. It does look like personal pan pizza or pretty personal good size pizza. There. Yeah.
I'm surprised. I thought it was going to rain less <laughs> or be over by now. But we just had a reprieve at the Riverside Playhouse, and we saw a cool show there. So Some good old bluegrass music. Yeah, some bluegrass music. They sang a really sad song, but it was really peppy music, so I wasn't sure if I should be sad or happy. <laughs> it was about, I can't stand myself since you've been gone, right? checking out bluegrass and barbecue with us on this rainy day at Silver Dollar City. Don't delay, come check it out for yourself. Thanks for following along and safe travels everyone.